So check it out. The notes in F major, I'm going to make that green. I'll make this purple. I think these are not uh, synesthetically correct, but whatever. Here are the notes in D minor, okay? So these are two totally different scales, it seems. So we got we start on F with this one. That's that's weird. That's a that's very different than D. So these must be different scales. F G A B flat. Yeah, this is D E F. Okay, th these are totally different scales. But watch this. What if I just simply do this? What if I move this F to line up with this F? Okay. Um, see how these notes line up? Okay, when all we do is drag the notes three notes later. Um, so, so here's what happens. These notes are the same, literally, okay? So what they do, and this obviously goes back there, okay, they share uh, the same, uh, exact same DNA, the exactly the same notes, okay? So they share keys, okay? So they, they share the same key signature, which means the same genetic code. So an analogy I like to use when I'm talking about relative keys versus parallel keys is this. Relative keys, and I should probably draw this out. Relative keys. I'm. Are we ever going to actually chart the song out? Yes, we are. So relative keys are similar to uh, moving furniture in own house. Okay. So if you take the chair from your living room and you put that in your dining room, you take the bed from your dining room and and, and put it in your sister's room as a real hilarious joke. I don't know. Uh, those are relative keys. The items are already in the house. The decor was designed by uh, you, I would imagine, or someone who lives with you. So uh, it's designed by by uh, the person dwelling there, or at least the people dwelling there. So they probably all have the same taste. It's probably mid-century modern everywhere, or it's probably retro everywhere, or it's probably shabby chic everywhere. Okay, you get the idea? That's relative keys. We have the same uh, uh, items. Same items. See these items, how they are the same once you just shift them over? A little bit, right? Parallel keys, which is not what's happening in this song. Parallel keys, they, this is similar to borrowing, and that term will come up potentially later, depending on how much uh, how much music we get to. Borrowing furniture from neighbor's house. Okay, again, this neighbor word is also going to come up too if we get to it. Neighbor's house. So, borrowing. Clothing from your neighbor's house, totally doable. Do you need a U-Haul truck? Not unless it's super heavy. It's right there. You just go pick it up. But do they have the same decor? Probably not. I mean, maybe. It's possible. I mean, if you both have Spanish houses next to each other, maybe they do. But you probably bought your stuff at CB2, and they probably bought their stuff at, I don't know, Ikea. That's another company. So these are going to be different items. Very different items. So in this Donkey Kong Country song, which is going to help us learn about reharmonization, they are using the same notes. So what that means is this moment that feels happy, very 8-bit. Oh, so happy. I promise you every note you're hearing is one of these, one of these notes. Let me make that blue. One of these notes. You're not hearing any notes that aren't that. Hear this new dark tone? Oh my God, so different. Guess what? Same notes. This vibe right here is identical. There is no note you're hearing that's not one of these seven notes. Uh, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. You're hearing only those notes. I'll prove it. D, that's that's D, you're, that's the lowest note. B flat, that's a B flat. Last time I checked, I was not lying to y'all. That is G. Oh, I hear that note. This is C. Oh, snap. And then E, or er, um, A, B flat, uh, F, and D minor. Okay, cool. I can't sing that low. I can't sing a low D. So only those notes are being heard. Before, and let's uncircle these, before it was only the, the same notes, just in a different order. F, 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 F. Okay, the, these are inverted, actually. Um, as someone who sucks at music uh, theory, this is super helpful. Thanks, it's Julia Holt. 